Well, we've got a club. FC Twente is our new club. We are in the Eredivisie for our next season or two. Uh, you know, the next few seasons, I hope. This could be it. This could be his chance. This could be his moment. His moment in history books for FC Twente. Is he going to score? Henrique! Let's go! Yes! Come on! And that is going to be it. Super Cup champions. What a fantastic win as our first win of the season. Well guys, it's Kieran or Killikas HD here and welcome back to Around the World. And today is the last ever episode of FCA 20. We will have one season away from FCA 20 and then we will finish this season and we will finish this series as we go on progress into FM 16. So today we face up against Go Ahead Eagles in the Eredivisie. Uh, we need three goals and we need line up final to lose in order to win the title. I don't think it's going to happen, but let's go and give it a look, go anyway. So today, I thought, why not just get straight into the game and then we'll kind of recap our time with SA20 in, uh, after the game. So I thought that would be a good idea. So let's get around to this go-ahead Eagle game and see if we can pick up a win. Um, I'm going to be honest, it's going to be a tough, tough game because go-ahead Eagles have been a struggle for us in past games. It, not, not saying there, we've had five matches and we've won four and they've won one. But to be honest, they've been a quite a struggle. So it's the last game of the season. We'll give them a quick pick. Uh, yeah, Renato Tapia, our uh, heartbeat, is actually out for this game, suspended. So we cannot use our, fa our finest player, really. Uh, so I'm thinking this might be the good side. We're actually going to play Bezland. I'm going to be honest. Bezland has been the fucking best player on this side. One of the best players, anyway. So I think that's a good idea to play him. We're going to put Roger Franco on the bench with uh, Soprian. Soprian's going to start over fucking Vasquez. Soprian has been amazing for us since being here with us. Uh, Valhena, Chadley, Batista and Van der Plas. I think that's a decent looking side to be fair. I might play Chadley over Ramirez. No, I'm not. I'm not, not going to play Chadley over Ramirez. I don't think I should do that. Stephen Thomas might have to come on for some point. So we're going to bring him on for Batista. I think this is the side we're going to go for our final game then. We're going to go with Axel Werner, Kayla Smith, Edwin Nieto, Andreas Bejlan, Samuel Soprian, Yasin Ayob, Christian Gentner, Egan Shadrach, Juan Ramirez, Serge Gnabry and Alan Polido. And on the bench you'll go with John Sung, Ryong, Pedro Franco, Diego Vasquez, Nasser Chadley, Stephen Thomas, Tony Valhena and Paul Van der Plas. We're going to go attack him right from the off in this game so I'm expecting a lot of goals. If we can get them that'd be fantastic. We're expecting a lot of goals and we could win. We could go into top spot final to have FC Groningen who are 12. So I don't know, I can't see them losing. Vitesse who uh, can take over us um, today. They're away at FC Utrecht, and Ajax, who can also just take over us by one point. Ajax are against VVV, her 17th in the league, with a playoff space in the relegation zone. So here is the go-ahead Eagles side. They have Roy, Shepers, Alhaft, Crusader, Jesse, and Salamans. They have Schneck, Bonilla, Camigalana, and Zafani with a Beric on goal. They have Bohe, Van der Weg, Mertens, Labille, Paleo, Amivor. And Ipel, I really, really, really want to win this game. I, re <laughs> I can't describe how badly I want to win this game today. Simply because, imagine if we did win the title. I don't think we will, mind you. But I would love it if we could. I would really love it if we could. We're going to quickly pause the game before it even starts. We're going to go ahead and get up the league table and s the fixtures as well. No, we're going to get up the fixtures. I think the fixtures might be a good one to get up. So we're going to get up the latest scores. And see if we can uh, maybe just see what's going on in the league. We'll do that. So let's kick off this game then. So Gentner kicks off this game of Polito. Bezlan is now. We're going to work the ball to Juan Ramirez. Egan Shadrach on the ball now for us. Can we get a goal early on? We can't. Jassy with the ball to Salamans. And that's going to be the highlight. It's not going to be. We're going to go Ham Ramirez on the ball now. We're going to go with Ham Ramirez on the left hand side to Egan Shadrach. Yasin Ayob. Juan Ramirez on the ball again. Puts it back to Shadrach to Gentner. We're doing quite well on this passing game here. We have two minutes on the clock. Shadrach on the ball. Juan Ramirez, once again, number 22, has been fantastic for us since joining us. Alan Polito on the ball. Alan Polito and Burrick with the save goes out for a corner. Corner here is going to be whipped in by Juan Ramirez. He whips the ball in. It's going to go to Ayob. Ayob to Serge Gnabry and Burrick with another save. Ajax has scored, which makes my life difficult. Final have scored as well. So we are now third in the league. And we need to get a goal now. So Stefani to Quesada for uh, Head Eagles. Al Hafti for Head Eagles on the left hand side. Gets the ball into Shepherds. And he fucking scored. Is that a joke? Are you fucking kidding me? We dropped on the fourth place. This is a joke. This is an absolute joke. What a joke. But what a fucking ball by El Hafti, by the way. Shepard's follies it in. Werner has to be doing better, really. And we are now losing 1-0 to go ahead Eagles, which I'm really angry about. Schneck on the ball. Ajax to 2-0 up. Bebe has just scored. Gentner. 
to Shadrach. Shadrach on the ball now for FC20. Can we get a goal now? We're just trying to chase this game back. Smith on the ball to Shadrach. He can get a ball in here to Ayob. Who has a shot and it goes marginally wide. Soprian on the ball now. He gets it to Ramirez. Back to Soprian who can whip it in. He puts it to Ramirez. He puts it to Yasin Ayob who can hit it. And Yasin Ayob has a shot and goes over the crossbar. Ajax the 3 1 up now against VVV. A final of 2 0 up. Uh, what about PSV? Rakic with the goal there. Oh dear. It's not looking too good, is it? We're losing, so that means we're going to drop down to 4 for the moment. Polido on the ball now. Polido running past his man. And that's going to go after a corner after a tackle. It's going to be whipped in here by Juan Ramirez. He whips the ball in. They're going to go as far as Schneck. Gnabry on the ball. Gnabry to Shadrach. Shadrach. Now, and it's cleared. And it's going to go as far as Kayla Smith. 4 1 Ajax now. Bebe once again with the goal. And now we have a chance, hopefully. Shadrach to Juan Ramirez. Ramirez to Ayob. Oil back to Shadrach, Shadrach to Polito, puts it on the left hand side to Samuel Soprian, again Shadrach on the ball, Juan Ramirez again, Soprian, come on, get a goal, get that to Yasin, oh you can shoot, Boric with another save, this is ridiculous. 5-1 Ajax now, we've got a chance here, 5-1 Ajax, Ramirez to Shadrach, Caseda gets it, it's the highlight, and now they've got a free kick, go ahead, oh my god, I thought that was it, Ajax are 5-1 up against VVV, we need a goal. So this is half time then, and I'm going to go aggressive and say, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you not going for this game right now? We're going to go ahead and go instructions, we're going to go higher tempo, we're going to go more direct. We're not going to play off defence at all, we're going to pump the ball into the box. We need a goal now, come on. Stop playing the ball. Puts it to Shadrach on the left hand side, gets to Alan Polito. He can get past his man, he has a shot, gets saved by Burick, and Benilla clears it. Juan Ramirez gets to Shadrach, Shadrach is working the ball nicely, gets tackled by number 52, Gentner. Back to Shadrach, back to Gentner. Gnabry gets tackled. Oh, for Christ's sake, get a goal. Mertens, so go ahead, Eagles now. Gets a pass and then it goes off his own man. Camigalano, big ball out to Shepherds. We better get that, please. Soprian clears it. Goes to Juan Ramirez. Shadrach's on the ball now. Can we get a chance here? Polito. Come on, boys, get one goal. Just get a goal now. You need to chase that second spot. Polito, and it goes wide. For God's sake, come on. Shadrach's on the ball. To Kayla Smith on the right hand side. You can whip it into Polito. And there is that goal. And it's 1 1. 1-1 one, one, FC20, we still need a goal to go up to second spot, we go up to third though, but we need one more goal to see us through, come on, Smith whips in the ball here, and Polito heads it in to make it 1-1, one, one. we need another goal, we need it now. 56 minutes in here, Roy is about to have a free kick, Vitesse are 1-0 up, we need a goal now, go ahead he goes a free kick, we're going to make our first change of the game really quickly, Polito is going to come off for Paul van der Plas. And that's going to be our only change so far in this game. But they have a free kick. Let's click the button. Roy is going to hit this free kick. And it goes to Werner who catches it. Ramirez with a corner. Whips it in. It goes to Shadrach. Hey, Ayob, come on. And Ayob clips it back to Ramirez on the right hand side. Whips it in again. And Benilla clears it. Shadrach. Caseda gets it. And now Roy. Go ahead, Eagles. Have a chance to make it 2 1 here. Roy to Shepherds. Shepherds on the ball for Go ahead, Eagles. Please don't. Ayob, get a ball in. Thank you. Pull down the blast on the ball. You bloody hell, what a chance that. Oh no, oh my god. Nieto gets a fantastic place of foot there. I don't even know what that English is, but Gentner, Paul van der Plas, come on, get one goal. You make your name in the history books if you score a goal, Paul van der Plas. And there he is a shot and Burrow with a save. Second change is going to game is going to happen right now then. Players are starting to get a bit tired, so we're going to bring on some players. We're going to bring on Tony Valhena for Shadrach, and we're also going to take off uh, Yasin Ayob and bring on Nasser Chadli. And I think that might be our final change of the game. We're going to put Nasser Chadli actually as an advanced playmaker instead of a... Uh, Romy playmaker. We need a goal. We need a goal right now. We have a chance before the substitutions even go through. Burke with a goal kick. This is the Roy. Nieto heads it. It goes as far as Corsada. Salimans now for go ahead Eagles. They can get a goal here. Shepherds. I up with the challenge. It goes to Mertens. Mertens on the ball. It's a Fanny. It's a Fanny on the right hand side. Get to Salimans. Go ahead Eagles. Better not score here. Salimans. Stop around with a challenge. Gets to Shadrach. Juan Ramirez to Gentner. Gentner to fall down the Plas. Come on. Come on. Get a goal. Put the Plas. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. I thought I was going in. Burke with another save. We need a goal. 85 almost minutes in here. We're going to go with our attack now. We need a fucking goal. Come on, please. Get one goal. We need a goal. We need it now to go into second spot. Come on. 89 minutes in here. 90th, 91st minute. We have two minutes of extra time here. Gentner tries to get a ball. Shetner clears it. And it goes out for a throw. And Kayla Smith with the throw in. And Gentner gets it. And it goes as far as Valhena. Valhena on the ball. Gets it to Gentner. Gets tackled by Shebas. And now Roy on the ball for Gerhard Eagles. Ipel for Gerhard Eagles now. What's the score in the other game? Vitesse still winning 1-0 against AFC Utrecht. Roy on the ball. Roy for Edgar Head Eagles. Ipel. Ipel on the ball. He's working the ball nicely here. And I'm going to be honest. I don't think we're going to get a win in this game. Shebbers on the ball. Bejlan with a tackle. Gentner. Ramirez. We've got one minute. Come on. Get a goal. Van der Plas. Come on. Make your name in the history books, boy. Van der Plas on the ball. Gets tackled by Kamenigano. Smith at the throwing. Gets it to Van der Plas. Come on. Oh, no. We're not getting a win. We're not getting a win in this game. It's going to be a 1-1 draw. I can already tell. Kamenigano gets it to Fanny. 
So finally kicks it to Ipe on the left hand side. We have 15 seconds to go now. We're not getting in. Gnabry to Velhena. 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 Oh my god. That is his first goal for the club. Velhena is just ready run past every I can't believe that we're second. Oh my god. Oh my god! Like, is this mad? No, 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 this is real. This is madness. Like, Casada to Roy. Just to get rid of it. I can't believe it. We're second. Have we just got a second spot on the 93rd minute? No way. No way. Have we? Oh my god, we have. I thought we were. Oh my. Oh my word. Go ahead, Eagles, mate. You dropped the fucking ball at the end there, didn't you, pal? Oh my god. What a win at the end of that was. What an end of the game that was. Bloody hell. Vejena in the 93rd minute to make it 2-1. Thank you, oh, Bloody Overlook. We are finishing second in the league. I can't believe that was... I can't believe that. So here is the final of the table then. Final of winning the championship. They win on 75 points. We are second with 70 points. We finished second on goal difference after Vitesse finished third. Ajax fourth. PSV fifth. SV Harinvin sixth. Adio Den Hag seventh. Dordrecht eighth. Zwolle ninth. Go ahead Eagles tenth. Alkmaar 11th, FC Eidenhaven 12th, FC Groningen 13th, NSC Breeder 14th, FC Utrecht 15th, and in the playoffs it's Hercules our rivals in VGV in 17th, and the grass gap go down, they go down to the Super League. So there it is then, I think we're actually done, I think we're done here at FC 20, we finished second this season, our most landmarks are, we have won the Dutch Super Cup and the Dutch Cup with FC 20 our entire career. We've only won five championships, three championships, sorry, we've won the M Mexican First Division with Club America, we've won two trophies with FC 20, we didn't, we didn't win the Eredivisie, but that's just how it is. We finished second in the league. Let's have a look at some old transfers we've made since we've been here then. Let's go into transfer history. We've been here for about three years now. So let's have a look at the signings we made. We signed... So Eber, I remember him. He came in on a transfer before we were even here. We brought Casta Ignos back after the four manager let him go on a free transfer. We brought Imposo on a loan transfer. Uh, we brought San Johnson on a loan. We brought the boy Sanchez for 400k, Ruben Ligion, Bilal Oldchip, Paddy Benero and Galahan Henriquez. Can we have a look? Can we just shout out Omar Sanchez for one second please? And the 20 year old Paraguayan defender who joined us from Libertad to 400k, left us and has a fantastic record now for Sevilla. What a player he is and what a player he will continue to be while he's at Sevilla. I hope he develops really well and I hope potentially Sevilla give him a chance. So how, where is Sevilla in the league right now? They're sixth in the league of BBVA. With two games to go. No, what? Could we get a job here? I might see if we can get a job in Sevilla. Can imagine if we get a job in Sevilla for our last season. That'd be mad, wouldn't it? But that's that. I'm happy with Sanchez. He's a fantastic player. We let go of players like Vinicius and all that in this um, transfer window. In the second season, we brought in Craig Crespo, Dominici Mitchell, Ben Pearson, Paddy Maner, Sam Johnson, Diego Vasquez, Franco Acosta, Jan de Handa. Boy, what a season he had for us against. Uh, when he played here. As only when one appearance this season, he had a fantastic season for us. It's a shame Liverpool refused to give him a chance here. Billy Howe, Kelly Smith, Paul Fente, Michael Strom from uh, Emblada, Boslav, we have Sandoval, Daniel Sinop from New York City FC, Colorado Rapids gave us Juan Ramirez, the boy. Who, do you know what? I'll give him credit. He's been here for a couple of seasons now. He's done really well this season. I didn't think he would, and he's done quite well. We brought in Rafik Haji, Stephen Thomas, Patrick Atundi from National de Maridi, Adam Allen, and Kenko Martins. So we let go of players like, uh, who do we let go of here? We let go of Schlidler. Uh, who else did we let go of? We let go of Nazan. Ebersila left in this season as well. Ebersila was quite a good player for us. He left to go to Levante. He's now playing for Real Sersi Dad. That's quite cool. He didn't have a good season for Levante. He's got the Sochi there. Now, what about the final season then? Let's have a look at what I'm Kulu, the speedster, he had a phenomenal season for us. Even though he's injured right now, he had a phenomenal season with 9 goals in 21 games. Belhena, who just won us second spot. Palido, Werner, Ayol, Nieto, Gnabry, Narsin, Gentner, Lee Jai Hon, Paul van der Pass, Pedro Franco, Nasha Shadley, Hugo Batista, and John Songrian. Who do we get rid of? We got rid of Ziyech in this season. He joined NDO Den Hag for 1.4 million. He's doing okay for them, to be fair. I'll give him credit. Ben Pearson left for £6 million when he went to Swansea. He's doing poor, to be honest, for them. And, um, okay, not bad about it. Paddy McNair went to Newcastle. And he's fucking hell, he's been absolutely awful. He's been absolutely dreadful for Newcastle. What else then? Who else did we get rid of in this season? We got rid of Simon Fern, Mokhtar left, Angelo Henriquez, uh, Luke Aster Ignos, Bejan, shut. And we also got rid of Patrick Atundi. Omar Sanchez left in the season, yeah. Sam Johnson left. Ruben Ligion left. Let's, have, let's give a shout out to Ruben Ligion. We signed him from NAC Breeder for 500k and he played consistently and he was fantastic. And he left for Galatasaray for 875k. 
he was awesome. Sam Johnston obviously left in the season as well. He went on Wolves after three seasons of us, one on loan and two permanently. He, yeah, he was okay for us. He could have been better. He wasn't really getting much game time when he left for the club anyway. He gave Axel Werner a chance. And Axel Werner, to be fair to Axel Werner, he stepped up to the plate kind of massively and he's done quite well for us since joining. So that is it then. That is the final episode with FC Twente. We have one more season to go and we're going to go to whatever club want us. It's our final season before FM16 comes around the corner. We just need to find a club, and if we don't find a club, I don't mind. So what you're going to see right now is the contract we have. 7,000 per week it expires on the 6th of June, the 30th of June, sorry. But we're going to kind of get rid of it right now. We have promises to make, but I'm not going to make them because I'm not going to be here. Our profile looks like this. Obviously, we put the stats up. We put the stats up very high. And, uh, yeah, that was it. The notebook then, let's have a look quickly before we go. We had three managerial jobs. The longest time the club is 1,000 days. Shortest is 220 with Independiente, if I'm correctly. Our highest fee was Felipe Godes of South America. And our highest fee, uh, fee received, sorry, was Darren Quintero, who joined, I believe, it was Marseille. It was Marseille. He played fantastically for them, to be fair. Look at him. He had a fantastic season for them. Uh, Every season, he played quite well for Marseille. Not too shabby Alonso, indeed, he. So what you're going to see right now is me click the resign button and we are going to resign from the FC20 manager right now. We are no longer the FC20 manager. We are looking for a new club as of right now. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Around the World and I hope you enjoyed FC20. And I'm really looking forward to seeing who comes up next in our final season with this managerial save. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and if you did not, tell me why in the comments down below. And I will see you all very soon for another episode of Around the World.